Thank you. In an effort to boost academic performance, a Hickman Mills school is trying out a year round model where students are already back in the classroom during the summertime. So let's get to KSHP 41 news reporter Daniela Leon. She's live this morning. She's at Ingalls Elementary School. So Daniela, school started for this uh, school on June 12th. <laughs> How's the program shaping up over the summer? Yeah, well, it's still it's in, in, in its infancy, if you will, Lindsay and Taylor, since it just started, but it calls to add an additional 32 school days to the school year. And like you guys mentioned, look at behind me. Staff is arriving at Ingalls Elementary. Students are here for the summer months, and we talked to some of the students taking part in this, and this is what they had to say. Ingalls Elementary School is turning the page by adding a new summer chapter to its school year. We can just see the difference and we can feel the difference in the building. In this chapter, students will be roaming the hallways from June 12th through August 3rd with breaks scattered in between, all in an effort to close the book on low academic performance. Students often experience in the summers that they lose some of the knowledge that they gained. Ripping a page out of a school in California, the year-round program incorporates a world of work framework where students focus in on their career interests like TV reporting. We are reporters here in the fifth grade. We are learning about ourselves and others and how to ask and receive effective questioning. Teachers like Miss Woods applaud the move since their day is booked up during the normal school dates. I often find myself kind of rushing through curriculum because we have to be on a time schedule because that's what we do. As for students, they say the year-round program gives them the chance to be on the same page with everyone else. Every day I think of living at school even though I really can't because that's the law, but school inspired me to write, do math more, do subjects more. And while the goal is to generate academic success, this new chapter also holds a deeper promise. I want to graduate. So. <laughs> Best start, start here, try to make it to the top. <laughs> Trying to make it to the top. Well, come September, Joseph Jacob, who you just heard from, uh, and other students there will be taking some testing to measure their academic growth. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Danielle Leo, KSHB 41 News. So, Daniela, let's talk about that attendance. Since 60% yeah. of students are coming in, other schools are thinking about it. What are they doing to try to get more kids to take part? Because this is this is not something they could opt out of, right? Right, so out of the 300 students enrolled at this school, roughly about 180 to 200 students, which is about 60%, are showing up for this extension. And the school told me they're really working with parents and trying to stress the importance of taking part in this extension. They're giving them flyers and trying to educate them on the positive things that this will bring to their student. All right, Danielle, it is a big change for families, we know. Thank you so much.